This video is sponsored by DeleteMe, a service dedicated to removing individuals and employee information from search engine results. Get 20% off using the subscription code GC20. Learn more about my thoughts with DeleteMe in a few moments. Cybersecurity jobs can be quite an overwhelming and stressful gig. There's alert fatigue, imposter syndrome, consistent stress, and many more. As I enter into my third year as an associate security engineer, I've dealt with periods and times of burnout. I wrote about my experience and how I dealt with burnout in my newsletter, where I received multiple replies with individuals talking about similar experiences that they've encountered. You are welcome to sign up for my newsletter. I talk about cybersecurity careers, projects, and cybersecurity news. So specifically with my job, uh, during a certain period of time in the last two years, I became an IT support custodian. Basically, I open a ticket, triage ticket, close the ticket, and open a new one. And this process was implemented to meet a specific uh, metric within leadership. The job became repetitive and stressful, and I was going through a serious period of burnout where I was questioning whether cybersecurity really was what I should be doing. I'm going to die. So if you're exploring the cybersecurity industry or you have been in this industry and you've probably dealt with periods of burnout, um, you will know that burnout is a real thing in cybersecurity and technology in general. So in today's video, I wanted to address why cybersecurity is uh, prone to high rates of burnout and as well as some strategies that I've implemented to at least try to taper or tackle burnout within this industry. So starting out with why does cybersecurity have such high rates? Well, when we take a look at the attack environment, of course, it's not working on a standard eight or nine to five schedule. Uh, there is no downtime when it comes to adversaries and threat actors attacking your network. So you have to be on call or on duty at all times. Even if you're not in an incident response position or a SOC analyst, uh, cybersecurity duties and projects carry a high level of impact within the environment. Fail to push the right configuration in production environment and face possible infrastructure downtime and acute consequences. Uh, providing important evidence in an audit, you better make sure that it is the right evidence because, well, you have to be fully honest. Even as a cybersecurity student, if you're in university, in high school, or you're studying for a certification, you must find time outside of uh, life's responsibilities to to dedicate to consistent learning and achieving these qualifications. And it never stops. Now, of course, this isn't inherently a cybersecurity type uh, problem. It's a problem within the technology. Uh, but specifically in the security industry, it's an ever evolving environment. New attack techniques, defenses, technologies, and lots of buzzwords to navigate through can lead to high or significant rates of burnout. Now, as an entry level or associate professional in this industry, I frequently encounter situations where I literally have no idea what I'm doing. How do I write this automation script? What is a RACI model? Uh, how do I know which or right information to use when reporting a vulnerability? If you feel like you're in this situation as a security student or even as a security professional, well, I'm here to say you are not alone. A quick segue into today's sponsor, Delete Me. So we all know that personal data is the digital gold in today's ecosystem. We have big data brokers, big tech companies hackers, and many more organizations that are trying to collect all of your personally identifiable information so that they can profile you, they can perhaps, for if you're a hacker, dox you or target you with spear phishing campaigns, and all of this information is out there on the clear web. So to delete this data, I use DeleteMe. DeleteMe makes it easy to remove one's personal information or employee information if you're a company in a very easy way. So using DeleteMe's portal, you can submit your personal information to be removed from online search results. Experts will go out and remove that data within seven days. 
then Delete Me team will continuously monitor for personal data and exposure on open websites and provide detailed reports of when your information has been exposed. Using Delete Me, you can make sure that your personal information is not accessible to strangers or that your employees are not being targeted with personalized phishing attacks. Using the code GC20 will get you 20% off Delete Me's annual subscription. So thank you for Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. So what do you do if you feel burnout or uh, fatigue within this industry right now, or you know that you may encounter it within your career? Well, here's a few strategies that I have received from other professionals, as well as just things that I've come up with on my own during the periods of time where I have experienced burnout. So first, I realized that you aren't alone in this journey of burnout, even if you feel siloed or alone compared to students or your coworkers who are excelling, uh, there are many individuals out there that are experiencing fatigue. Oftentimes, entire teams and cybersecurity departments can feel fatigue based off of uh, the security enablement and culture. Uh, so you aren't alone. So the strategies that I have implemented really are general advice, right? So first off, uh, setting work-life balance expectations and limitations. As difficult as this may be, you are ultimately responsible as a cybersecurity professional to set a boundary between work and personal time. And so one thing that I've done is I attempted to set or block uh, my working hours in my virtual Google Calendar. And then I just stay consistent to that work-life balance, especially if you are entering into the industry. I understand that you wanna make a good impression, uh, you wanna be a valuable team member, but at the same time, you need to recognize uh, your own mental health and work-life balance. And that leads me into my second uh, strategy, which is pursuing a hobby outside of security. As much as security is a fun, uh, informative, ever-evolving industry, oftentimes, you know, if it's just your world of security and that's all you have, you can feel periods of burnout. At least that's what I've felt in the past. So sometimes I binge watch shows or I don't know, read a book, whatever you want, but uh, make sure that you have at least one hobby outside of security. And I know that's I'm stating something of rather the obvious. The third is changing your environment. So this advice may seem rather redundant, but if you have an environment which doesn't support you and your mental health, it may be time to change that environment, whether it's uh, having an honest conversation with your superior, your boss, moving to a different position or lateral movement within a company, uh, or an entirely new position. Uh, during the times of period of burnout, for me personally, my environment change was having an open and honest conversation with my boss about the work that I was doing and uh, how I felt contributing towards the team or lack thereof. And uh, there was good conversation uh, surrounding that and it helped me implement a better work-life balance. And then finally, what I've done in the past is I've connected with others. So if you're on a team connecting with your coworkers, not necessarily in a way of complaining, but just uh, saying how you feel, or if you have friends within this industry, reach out via DMs or text. The InfoSec community really is a very supportive community and, and just tell them how you feel. And I think that a lot of experienced professionals will feel or resonate with you. Sometimes human connection is really all you need to uh, feel validated. I fortunately was in a situation where I had some coworkers who were tasked with doing the same exact duties, so uh, they also felt burnout. Uh, eventually things did get better in my work environment, the stress went away from leadership, and I set my work-life balance uh, limitations. And so ultimately, what I realized from these experiences within the last two years is that carrying forward, I have to implement and proactively be aware of my balance in life. Um, burnout in cybersecurity, it is a real thing, a real challenge, and there are a lot of challenges that one must face within this industry. And I think burnout is probably perhaps one of the uh, items that aren't talked about very often. So 
being aware of how you feel or whether you're feeling fatigue is important. And I think that uh, take a check within your mental health with how you're doing and make sure that you are setting that work-life balance expectation. So hopefully this video can resonate with you and one or more of those strategies can be helpful. So cybersecurity industry, it's an ever evolving, very stressful industry, depending on which position you're in. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below how you have felt in the past. If you're a student or you know an industry professional, what have you done to tackle burnout or how you feel right now within this industry? I'll be interested to see what you think. So until the next time, have a good day and well, yeah, keep learning, keep working and persist. Oh gosh, the generic advice.